No, no, I'm not doing it again. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure, episode five. He's alive. He is. He is alive. Well, now that we've done that, I guess we're gonna head back to Station Square again to do something else. I guess. It it really is a lot of back and forth between Station Square and this place, isn't it? Actually, I lied. Who's that in the Who's that in the background? Oh. Who is that guy? Who is that awesome, cool dude, cool it. looking motherfucker? Darn it. Knuckles! He's normal sized! Oh, this is before he buffed up. Brilliant! This is when it was cool and he had rap anthems as his theme song and everything. It was so cool. No time for oh. game, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. And back when he was a rival instead of just an what? idiot doof. Just see you take him. Huh. Yeah, he was always an idiot doof. So alright, fight Knuckles. Oh, okay. Oh no. You keep homing attacking him, you'll be fine. Really, that's it? Oh no. <laughs> I swear I swear the first you time playing this I had shot. so much problems. Oh, well, probably because of that right there. He can oh, fly no. right into you. There, no problems now. Three hits he's gone. You fools! The Chaos Emeralds. And guess what? Oh, where did he come from? I was hiding behind here the whole time. <laughs> I I'm calling bullshit on that. There's no way. <laughs> Whoa! Look at those arms. Super Extendo arms, Robotnik. This makes sense why he does this later, when we play Knuckles' story. Ha-ha! Again? Knucklehead! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, shit. Four out of the seven. Oh, and of course it's just right there. Well, uh, yeah, he's always nearby, you know? Uh-oh, he's gonna get more powerful! Yeah, he turns into a landfish! Well, duh. Right? This is normal, oh. right? Oh, <laughs> ha That's Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this boss fight. Oh, I've seen this one. Oh, no. Well, have fun. Well, correction, I hate it with everyone but Sonic. Oh, more people have to fight this thing? You fight it essentially three times. Everyone's who's Everyone who's here right now has to fight this thing. And it's much more fun with Sonic because all you can do is you can just jump and homing attack everywhere and you will be totally fine. Well, at least you're fast enough to avoid everything. This would be obnoxious as, say, Tails. And so every time that Chaos rears his head, you can immediately just slam him right there. Because you're already homing attack nearby anyway, and your homing attack's gonna hit him. So it's like you're a ninja jumping in a pond of water fighting <laughs> with the shark. I'm Ryu Hayabusa, Tails! Yeah! <laughs> Is I also there... hate it because it's too tedious. Yeah, is there any other strategy or does he do any more moves or what are we what are we seeing here? You just you just gotta wait until he rears his head up and then you gotta hit him. Were you walking on water? Yeah, the stage is weird too. I mean you can't move too well in water, which is why it's good to jump. But he he can knock over the lily pads and knock you over and then hit you from there, so really it's good to stay mobile. Really, that's all I can say. Just keep moving. It's easier to do with Sonic because you can control better where he goes. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't get hit! Wait for him to get his fucking head up. One more hit. Come on, come on, come on! Ah! What hit me? Of course, the very last time. 
Uh, unless I got a ring. Drowning. That's a score, all right. Nice job. Thanks. And now. The amazing CG of the Sega Dreamcast. I bleedingly realistic. It looks just like a PlayStation 3. We'll use this in the ads. They'll have to buy our system now. Yeah, remember back when Eggman's ships had weight to them? Yep. Kinda. Those days are long gone now. Behold my floating masterpiece! He has a flying carrier. Is that a metaphor for motherhood? You know, I wasn't going to go there, but now you've got me wondering. Oh my god, you might be... Oh, now I'm going to overthink this. <laughs> he just shouts as he leaves, DON'T THINK ABOUT IT TOO MUCH! All right, Eggman. I guess we gotta come and find you now. I have to go sulk in a corner. I have to go do my story now. Come on, let's get going. So, all right, he's got he's got business to do, and now we can play as Knuckles if we want to, but don't want to right now. Essentially, so we'll everybody's campaign is going on at the same time, correct? Pretty much, yeah. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I thought you had stuff to do. <laughs> I'm just waiting here for my bus. Uh, Knuckles, buses don't come out here. What? There's a train, though. A train? I've already trained enough. Look at these biceps. All right. Here's where Tails stops being the annoying sidekick we knew him from the old games and starts becoming actually kind of reputable. Are you sure about that? I want to remind you he's eight years old. This is his workshop that he has. He bought the land. He constructed all of this. I mean, what? He's eight. Eight. Well, what is that in Fox years? I don't know. If, uh, he built that fucking plane. Reworked an ancient power to use it as fuel. Oh my god, this theme song. I like this theme, shut up. <laughs> no, I've actually gotten a chance to listen to it. Well, we'll hear a lot of it in Tails' theme, that's, in Tails' story, that's for sure. See, I don't care what criticism anybody says about this game, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the soundtrack is gay and stupid. Well, you're gay and stupid! <laughs> Yeah, I said it! You're living in amazing Sonic bliss right now. I mean, come on, it's made for me! They even added a Star Fox 64 level! Taylor made for you! Lock onto enemies and shoot them down to get the max score. I mean, you could just try and shoot them all, but that'll take forever. Initially, what you do is you hold the shoot button, you lock onto as many as you can with your reticle there, and let, them, let it go. There you go. Essentially, we're gonna do we're gonna do a fly around uh, the egg carrier and destroy all of his shit. You know, for a game about a blue hedgehog that runs fast, never expected this. Always keeps you guessing, doesn't it? And I'm just imagining Sonic right now, since he's not strapped onto anything and you're moving around so much. He's like, "Hey, Tails! Whoa!" He's terrified. He's got a death rip on the tornado. Just, <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 <laughs> the wind's blowing in his face at mock mock speed speeds. You know, just. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go closer to the afterburners? No! <laughs> <laughs> just burn him alive. Tails lands on the egg carrier. Where'd Sonic go? You just see his feet. <laughs> You finally hear the plane screech to a stop, and then you hear boom. <laughs> you know, Sonic, you can jump like you can in the old games, right? I don't fucking think so. 
See, that's when Sonic Adventure goes rated T for teen. <laughs> Years before Shadow the Hedgehog went edgy. I will say, this is a smarter game than, sh than uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. This is the purest sense of the 3D because they had the most time to work on this, I guess. They knew what they wanted, and that's why when they stuck with it and did Sonic Adventure 2, that was really good too. Then they just couldn't stick with one idea, and they kept reinventing the series, and kept throwing new ideas, and not focusing on what did work and what doesn't work, you know? It, it, they just kept shuffling the deck! And well, she keep dealing junk hands, and sometimes you get a two pair, but she's never gonna get a five of kind like this! I think they mainly considered that a fluke. It's like, what, this game did really well? Oh shit, that'll never happen again! They need to know when to fold! But I don't know when to draw another card! They build the hand they have! Poker references and they just got shot down, so I guess that's bust. Should have saved everything for Casinopolis. Yeah, well. That joke was about an 84% anyway. You know it'd be kind of a cruel joke to do? What would that be? The game automatically flips you to a new character, so it's actually as if Sonic and Tails died. Nah, but they do split those two apart. Okay, that makes sense. Tails is in the Mystic Ruins, and we're in... Oh! Paradise! Tails? Tails? I broke my pelvis! Keep an eye on his, uh, his left eye. You're not who I'm looking for. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Something's going oh, I wonder on there. If he's okay. So next time on Sonic Adventure, the search for Tails. Will he live? Will he die? Who gives a fuck? I don't. Yeah, me neither. See ya.